G'day and welcome to working a chevron in half stitch with Jenny Brandis. This technique is used in the September 2020 bonus pattern that came with Jacqueline. The first of six patterns in pattern a month number two by Jenny Brandis Lace on Etsy. In this sample, I have hung on the berry pin a slightly darker thread for the weaver. Half stitch is worked with cross and twist. Now add a pin twist on the right pair to ensure that the weaver thread goes back into the work. Put up the pin, tension and close the pin with half stitch. Make sure that the weaver thread is here. Half stitch through the incoming pair. Add a twist to the weaver pair to ensure that the weaver thread goes around the pin and back into the chevron. Put up the pin and close it with half stitch. Tension. Half stitch through the passives, cross and twist. Half stitch through the incoming pair, cross and twist. Add the pin twist to the weaver pair to make sure that the weaver thread returns to the chevron. Put up the pin and work in half stitch across to the next pin. Half stitch through the incoming pair at the corner, cross and twist. Add a twist to the weaver pair and put up the pin. Close the pin with half stitch and lay aside the left outgoing pair. Half stitch back through the three pairs of passives and the next incoming pair at the pin. Put up the pin and continue working the chevron to the corner. Note that when you tension the work, it is every second thread being tensioned that affects the work above. There should be twisted pairs above the weaver thread and different twisted pairs below. I will fix the untwisted pair on the right as I work this row. Done. Work the corner pin in half stitch, pin half stitch, without the pin twist as we want the weaver thread to leave the work here. Lay aside the right pair. In the Jacqueline sample, I continued with the original weaver to the next pin before changing to a new weaver thread. Using the next two pairs, half stitch, pin half stitch, lay aside the outgoing pair, work the honeycomb before continuing the chevron. Working in half stitch while bringing in the three new pairs from the honeycomb and laying aside the outgoing pairs until the chevron is finished. 